Today we are going over a July slash August store haul. You guys are coming with me. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I have nowhere to actually point because yeah. We're in my office slash whiskey corner, which is a storage area for new boxes at the moment that we haven't unpacked yet. So yeah, we got that. Don't kill me if you see all this mess in the background. So it is what it is. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for checking out the channel. Thank you for checking out this video. Please do me two favors. Well, two favors, that's one. Two favors, but that is one of the favors. Please like this video. You can do this whether you're subscribed or not. It'll take you maybe two seconds to just click that little thumbs up button. <laughs> that really, or thumbs down, whichever one you want. But please like this video as I'll truly appreciate it and YouTube's algorithm really likes it. Another favor that I'm gonna ask of you is please subscribe. That really helps out. I have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer. Not sure if I'm gonna make it there, but I won't make it there if you guys don't help me out. So please help, please. Anyways guys, I wanted to do, I have a lot of ideas to come out, but we're still unpacking, we're still moving in. Um, kids are starting school, still working, still doing stuff in the house and outside. Still haven't sold our house back there. So a lot of stuff is going on. Needless to say, the whiskey corner or whiskey room is not yet done right it's probably going to be the last thing that we do when i actually finish everything i'm going to do an inaugural live stream so definitely stay tuned for that um, but for the most part um, this is it right i'm gonna try to put out more and more videos more often but it probably won't be like i had it at the other house where it was like two a week uh, i'm gonna try to put more and more if you guys start seeing more you guys know that i have less things on my plate right so I wanted to do a store haul video because I bought a few things in July and August, not normally how I buy, but obviously you guys know I've been busy. Before we get into that, I want to do an inaugural cheers. It's a little bit because it is like 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm still working and you know, might be a little too early for this. Maybe in a few hours, I'll drink a little bit more. So cheers. Let me finish off that a little bit. Damn, that was good. That's freaking good. Sweet, spicy, covers your whole mouth. And that is one of the ones that we have here. So like all the other store haul videos, I'll let you know where I got it, how much it costs, if I remember correctly, and if I already tasted it, what I think about it, or if I haven't, I'll let you know that as well. So the first one and what I just drank, and you guys should see the video that I just put out. Um, I'll put it up here. It's a video of me reviewing this. This is Smoke Wagon Uncut The Younger, or The Younger. And this is actually really freaking good. So if you guys haven't tasted this, Definitely, I implore you to try to get it, try to taste it. It's a good addition to the other smoke wagons that you guys have, whether it's a straight bourbon, the small batch, or the uncut unfiltered. It definitely doesn't replace any of them, but it's its own different entity. I would definitely add it on as a part of, obviously, the rotation. So it's really good, so definitely go and get it. I paid $72 with the shipping included, obviously. Um, from the actual smoke wagon website so go and check it out be on the lookout and try to see if you can get this one that um, well first off I'm gonna tell you about the first ones that I'm gonna go through are the ones that I actually bought other than that one that one I got here that I bought back at the old house so we'll go through there and then I'll get to the last two that I actually bought here Two that are not here that I will say from the start that I did buy in July slash August 
and they're not here because I actually don't know in what box they are in. That is Elijah Craig B522 and Nelson Brothers Reserve Bourbon. So those two should be here on this list, but again, don't know really where they are. <laughs> um, but they are some that I got also as a store haul. Elijah Craig or the ECBP B522, I bought it for 75 bucks. And the Nelson Brothers, I think it was like 60 bucks. So they're both really good. Definitely uh, go and see that last video when we were saying final farewells to the South Florida Whiskey Corner. Um, and you'll see my review, my short review about them. All right, other ones that I bought back in South Florida is, well, let's start with this one, right? So in, one of, in a few of my videos, I told you guys that I bought a Rebel 10 single barrel, um, mostly because I wanted to taste it, but more importantly, it's a special bottle because it has the uh, year that my first son was born, right? 2009, I was planning on not opening that until he's old enough to drink, have it pop it with him on his 21st birthday. Well, I was then thinking about just having a little sip to actually see what I have there. But then I saw this one, right? So that one's gonna stay closed until he's 21. Um, so that one's a special one. They're both single barrel, so you kinda, you know, there'll be a slight difference. But I'm glad I was able to find this one. It cost me about 90 bucks. And now I get to have a gist of how this actually tastes. So this is Rebel 10 years single barrel. This one was from uh, 2010. Um, the last one that I have was from 2009. So can't wait to get into this. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for a review of this. And I'll definitely put it up against other 10 year bourbons. All right, another one that I got at the old house and I got this one off of Sealback. So you guys are gonna see a repeating pattern about me getting stuff off Sealback. So definitely check them out, sealbox.com. Definitely, if, you, if you're into a lot of the ones that you can't find in your area that are more craft, go on there. So this one I did get, I have a few new loose here, but I haven't had the uh, toasted small batch yet. So I definitely had to buy, this is a Sealbox exclusive. I think it cost me like 75 bucks and I got free shipping for some reason. Um, it's 117.6 proof and it says it's batch S1, whatever that means. But I'm excited to actually open this up, haven't opened it yet, but when I do, you guys will know, and I'll probably do a review on it because and you guys know I love toasted and double oak bourbon, so be on the lookout for that. Another one that I did buy online, and it was on Sealbox also, and I've been looking for this one for a while, cost me 200 bucks plus shipping, so you guys already know. I did get a discount on shipping though, um, but you guys already know, but yeah. Um, I think it's worth it and can't wait to get into it, and this is Fordgate, Kelvin Collaboration 4. So this is 111 proof, this is batch number 19 and bottle number 721. People rave about four gates, so I definitely wanted to get one at some point and can't wait to actually get into this. This is going to be that bottle that we're going to have on the inaugural live stream of the new Whiskey Corner. So stay tuned for that. Be on the lookout. Lastly, um, this one I didn't buy, but uh, a friend of mine before we left South Florida and moved up here. I mean, we're only four hours away, but we know we're gonna see them less. So I truly appreciate it. Um, Alex, thank you so much. You are the man. Um, he knows I'm into bourbon. He knows I like double oak. So he saw this. Don't know too much about this, um, other than I think it's like 30 bucks at your total wine, but I definitely appreciate um, you getting it for me, man. Um, it's awesome. I mean, this says bourbon whiskey finished with sherry cast staves. So we'll see how that goes, but it does say double O. So it's gonna be an interesting taste, I think. So I'll definitely uh, put it up against the Woodford Reserve double O. This costs like 30 bucks at Total Wine. So it is Winchester double O. It's 90 proof, so I think it's gonna be a good one. Um, and even if it isn't, still a good experience. So. Definitely be on the lookout for that video as well. 
All right, so these are the ones that I bought back in South Florida. Now we're gonna get into the ones that I bought here in, um, in Central Florida or Tampa. And there's only two, so we'll go through this pretty quickly. I went to my local Total Wine, checked out the inventory that they have, and I have not seen this yet. Now, I did do a review of this bourbon with a regular one that's like 90 proof. It's a weeded bourbon and it is from Austin, Texas. But it's not a Texas bourbon, it's a weeded bourbon from Austin, Texas. This is nine banded and this is the castrin form. So the review that I did was on the regular nine banded and I haven't seen this one yet. It wasn't, I've never seen it in South Florida and I've just seen it here. And uh, yeah, had to buy it. 115 proof. I think it's gonna be a banger. I like the regular nine banded, so I think this is gonna be hell of a lot better because it was missing that little oomph, but definitely can't wait to get into this and I'll definitely put it up against some of the other weeded or Texas bourbons that I have over there. Cost me 56, 55 bucks. So not bad for a cast strength weeded. Lastly, in one of my videos, I did say at the old house that I bought this and it was a collaboration that they did with Red Breast. My son, before I was able to drink it, open it and drink it, my son was playing around in what used to be the old whiskey corner and he slipped, he, his ball hit two of my bottles that I had on the floor because I really had no space over there and it broke two bottles, had two casualties. One of them I already opened, I already tasted it, and it was all right. The other one, which was this, uh, uh, another offering of this one, like I said, the Red Breast um, offering, got completely broken, was never able to taste it, and I've never found that again, at least locally. I haven't really checked for it online. But with that said, uh, this is another offering from that same company that was Heaven's Door, Red Breast Edition. This is Heaven's Door, age 10 years. It says they're a decade series. So I haven't seen this before. I just saw it at my local ABC. It is 100 proof and it cost me $90. So definitely uh, can't wait to get into it. If you guys know Heaven's Door is from Bob Dylan. Um, and it says it's 20% rye in the mash bill, which is it's all right and it's a Tennessee whiskey so can't wait to get into it I've tasted Heaven's Door before and it's all right it's not something that I'm gonna go out and get all the time but it's not bad but at age 10 years and in this price range I definitely had to try this so yeah I'll definitely open this up let you guys know how that tastes and that's it guys that is my store haul for July and August not too big not too small though and yeah a little bit pricey especially with that four gate and two of those almost hundred dollar bourbons. Anyways, um, I still chilled, but now that I'm here, I'm gonna be buying a few more things. I also need to set this up so I can fit all of that. You guys will see, I might actually do a video of me setting up the new whiskey corner. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Comment below, please do me the two favors that I asked from the beginning like this video as youtube will definitely like that and please subscribe that will really really help me out with that thousand subscriber goal other than that if you want to go above and beyond and are feeling generous you could always kick some dollars over to the patreon you will see that in the description that link it'll take you straight there and then you know at least two or three dollars a month will definitely help any little bit counts other than that i'm going to let you go I'm going to keep working and then pour myself some more of this uh, uh, smoke wagon uncut the younger in a few hours so I can actually truly enjoy it. But I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Cheers.